to take today to do a little room rundown, rig rundown, slash, um, where I do like a little room overview of where I do all my editing, where my computer's at, where I record bass stuff, um, play some games in. Coming over here, my friend drew me this Venom. My friend drew me this Venom drawing back in high school. A good friend of mine named Paul Benjunas. He's an artist. He has a YouTube page, and or sorry, he has a Facebook page for his art. I think definitely has a YouTube page for his photography. My friend bought me this Joker. It's actually on metal. I like to keep some of my boxes, so I got my old R9 390 box here, my 1080 Ti, my Hyperkin Duke controller, um, my friend Paul also made me a Slipknot little thing, I don't know what to call it because it's on wood. So I mentioned before that I have VR, I'm an Oculus fan, I think the controllers are so much better, um, I haven't really... I haven't been able to play Vive, so I guess I'm a little biased, but I really like the way the Oculus feels. I like its controllers. I'm a really big fan of it. Like I said, that's why the Beartooth flag is here. It's hiding the wires that are going up. I have a connection there, and although it's going to be hard because of the exposure, I have a connection for a wire right there. Also that when you're playing this, it can feel as good as possible. On here I got a bunch of other stuff. I got a whole Skyrim lore book here. This giant thick book. Um, old school face plates for the 360. Some bass strings for anyone who was a fan of True Blood way back in the day. I had the True Blood drink. It was really good. It was a blood orange soda. Um, I just keep it around because I think it's great. Really cool thing to remember and to have. I got testing supplies for my clients. Got one there, one there. Got this Logitech keyboard. It's a wireless keyboard. I'm going to be using that really soon because I'm sure you can see over here especially. This keyboard is dirty as anything. Um, it is a waterproof keyboard so I'm going to throw it right in the wash let it dry out really well. So this is where I have my base stuff. Obviously, this is my band Sunday morning, so I try to hang that in the background. We used to use these on stage, but right now we're going through a transition where we're not going to be using this logo anymore. This is the old school logo. I got a couple random things over on this pillar over here. It's a little miniature fans. I bring them to work during the summer because they work really great, or I use them over by the computer in the middle of summer when it's really hot in here. Kinetic sand our home phone, our router, and a microphone for recording. Obviously, this is just like some random Shure mic that it's not even like a good Shure mic. It's like one of those $100 ones. Nothing special, nothing that great. Looking to get a new mic before I actually put anything up on YouTube. Got a drop D tuner right here, compressor pedal, blowtorch MXR pedal. I'm going to be doing demos of these at some point. Gonna be doing demo of this. I think it's Dan Electrono. It's a, called a Grill Cheese Distortion. It's really ridiculous. I got some random bits and pieces in here. My dive watch um, and a pump. This is a Fender BXR 300 C. The C actually stands for combo. Somebody took this head out of combo unit and then for some reason thought I'm going to build a whole little head unit to make it look professional. Someone actually gave me this. I think it's a great, like, for I'm recording, it's a great middle of the ground tone that a lot of people understand. I'm personally a big fan of Galleon Kruger when it comes to amplifiers. Um, this is the 1001 RB. It's a 700 watt amplifier. It's monstrous. That's the best way to put it. Just monstrous. One of the things I really enjoy about them is that they it's biamped, which allows for 50 watts to go straight to a tweeter or horn, which is this 
little unit in there, allowing for your horn to sound louder than normal and more clear than normal. There's a crossover that allows for certain frequencies to go into the horn and certain frequencies to go straight for the woofers. But that's only if you're using a speak on cable, which is what I tend to use for that reasoning. Um, then we got this avatar cab that I got. I really love this thing. It was a solid buy for $400. For $100. Um, it's supposed to be rated up to a thousand watts. I personally don't believe that it is, but it has been handling the 1001. So I got hope. It's a 2x12 with the tweeter. And on the back actually has a volume knob for the tweeter. More pedals I'm going to be doing a demo on at some point. I got a bunch of extra stuff over here. I don't even want to go through all the drawers because there's so much in them. I got a couple comic books up here that are going to be posted to eBay really soon. Some old Captain America Falcons, Spider-Man 700s, uh, limited variants of Spider-Man's Tyrese special of The Walking Dead. Two of the only books I've ever read. Um, Nikki Six, This Is Gonna Hurt. I got some notebooks. Broken monitor. <laughs> Broken headphones, broken keyboard, broken couple of controllers, but they're all Halo editions in one kind or another. The silver one is a Halo Reach controller. This one with the UNSC on it is a Halo 4 limited edition controller. This one with the blue accenting is another limited edition Halo 4 controller. This silver and blue one is a Xbox One Halo 5 special edition controller that's broken. And this is a Halo 3 ODST controller, the green one. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down in the comments section below. Please subscribe, like, share this with your friends if they think they would be into my content or anything coming up. I might actually be trying to repair my friend's controller using the innards of this one over here. So that's going to be an upcoming video. Hope you've enjoyed all this content and have a great day, guys.